We all know the saying, you get what you pay for. But every now and then, you find one of those products that definitely outperforms its price point. It wasn't the case with the two budget ovens I reviewed last month. Could this be the one? The Pizzello Forte comes in a very compact box, easily the smallest package out of any pizza oven I tested. Everything is stuffed inside the oven body and in perfect shape. The pizza peel was hilariously small. Clearly, this was a mistake because it's only 9.5 inches. So everyone should beware, you may need to buy a 12-inch peel. Setup takes some time, but it's pretty straightforward. You basically need to install a few wooden handles, a bracket for the gas burner, and the chimney. The gas burner screws in through the back in a rickety way. It feels like it's hanging low and it definitely has some movement to it. But hey, we're here to save money. If you want to cook with wood pellets, just take the burner off and slide in the tray. More can be added through the little chute above it. What I found interesting is that the manual asks you to actually wash the pizza stone and oven interior with soap and water. I wiped down the interior of the oven, but didn't wet the stone. Instead, I heated the oven for 30 minutes, let it cool down, then wiped with a dry cloth. The instructions also say that the hood of the chimney should be flush with the rivets on the chimney, but it was impossible to do this since the lock nut was welded in place. So the hood sits about a half inch above the chimney. Hopefully, it doesn't let too much heat escape. I honestly kind of like the appearance of this oven because it's not a blatant ripoff of Uni products like many other budget pizza ovens are doing. However, I do want to point out one potentially important thing. The Pizzello oven is a product available on Alibaba, a Chinese technology company that allows anyone to order directly through a manufacturer. This means anyone can slap a logo on this oven and start selling it. But if it works, it works right? The flame size could be a bit bigger for my liking, but considering this is a small oven and has a door, I think it should reach decent enough temperatures. The support team at Pizzello said it's fine to use the door with gas, but I left the peephole open for a little more airflow. The following graph shows how the Pizzello Forte gas pizza oven compares to other pizza ovens I tested. Not too shabby for a $200 product. I launched my first pizza when the stone temp read 815 degrees Fahrenheit and baked it for 1 minute 44 seconds, turning every 20 seconds or so. For the final 20 seconds of the bake, I held the pizza closer to the top because the top crust needed a bit more color. The results were actually pretty good. It won't get quite as fast of a crust rise as a rock box burner can offer, but not bad at all. For my second pizza, the stone temp decreased a bit. So I launched this around 780 degrees Fahrenheit and ended up needing to bake it for 1 minute 55 seconds. Again, I had to lift the pizza up higher to cook the top a bit more. It seems like that's the oven's biggest downfall. The gas flame in the back is a bit weak to get the top color, something that a Gosney Rockbox or an Unikaru 16 can achieve because of the rolling flame. I tend to use the phrase, you get what you pay for, in a negative light. So I won't use that here. Because I feel you get a bit more than that considering the $210 price tag. And that even includes a cover. Even with the negatives I called out, I think this is a solid option for those who are still a bit leery about entering into the pizza making world and don't want to shell out $400 to $800 for a better product. 